Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. Been a bit for you, uh, for you and for me as well. I've got a few things I want to talk about tonight before I go to bed because it's uh, 10.42 p.m. My, my time. But tomorrow I'm going to be having my um, job interview and I do pray and I do hope that I actually get this job because that would be step one towards me getting financial independence and also just getting better at the whole um, adulting thing. So that's good. But I want to let you guys know about a couple of things that I'm planning on doing anyway. And then one thing I might not be um, doing, but that might also be part of the plan. So one, depending on whether or not I get this job, I may be taking a break from YouTube for a while if I get the job to start getting into the swing of things of just having a normal job, having normal work hours, having a normal schedule, getting proper amounts of sleep, stuff like that. Because let's be honest, being a streamer, YouTuber, content creator, and game developer, and a nine to five job worker, <laughs> not exactly the best um, balance of everything, including taking care of myself, taking care of my health, eating regularly, going to functions I need to go to. There's a lot that needs done, and there's not a whole lot of time in the day. There's only 24 hours, so you know how that goes. But I'm hoping that in the next um, week or so, I can definitely tell you one way or another whether or not I'm working. Um, and I will make a short update video when that comes. Number two. The end of this month, com um officially completes development cycle one on Sunset Skies. Now, that is, that is the primary development cycle for the game, and I hope to, barring any unforeseen circumstances, barring any delays, I hope to have the full game finished by then as far as story, um, plot elements, um, just all the major important stuff like dialogue and scenes and elements and all that all that good stuff now as far as um music that will be part of development cycle two which will be um the lead up to december 21st which is when i hope to release the game so december 21st winter solstice four days before christmas gives you plenty of time to buy it if you want it for your for yourself or for a loved one that you want to get get it for. Um, I'm hoping to have it have a three hour playtime. Now it's it won't have a lot of replayability value because it's a story driven game. It doesn't have a lot of like boss enemy. It doesn't have any fighting, doesn't have any traditional traditional RPG elements, but it's it if you played to the moon, if you played Finding Paradise if you played Imposter Factory, or if you played Undertale, those games are mainly story-driven with an incidental RPG element. Mine is just story-driven, no RPG elements at all, except for the, the engine that it's being made in. So that's the only our RPG part, is the RPG maker. But um, I went with this because it was the easiest engine to design in for, for a game. But I do hope that in the next um, two weeks, two, uh, two weeks and one, two, three, four, five, six days, it's almost three weeks, I hope to have a complete game that I can then start working on the soundtrack or at least start commissioning people for that, um, commissioning work for art, and then maybe creating a couple of trailers in development cycle two and then hopefully having everything done so that there can be a release by the 21st at least on pc now i'm working on um figuring out who i can i can ask about porting to consoles like the switch and the xbox because i don't know about playstation and i don't know about mobile but at least with xbox and playstation i can try i mean xbox and nintendo switch I can try, especially if I can get in touch with the people that ported to the moon to the Switch because they did a great job with that. They'd probably be 
excited to work with another indie game to uh, port it to the Switch as well, which would increase sales and therefore increase revenue. But that is a phase three post publication kind of focus right now. Um, once the game is published, then I'll work on marketing. I'll work on um, possible sequels or at least tie-ins or whatever possible other games that I might create. But for right now, I just want the one. I want the one game. Um, beyond that, there's not much else I'm planning other than just continuing to create content for you guys as I'm able. <laughs> because with a full, with even a part-time job now, I'm going to need ha to have plenty of time to actually do the job and then also time to uh, manage my own personal life as well. So I will not have as much time to give to you guys as before, but I will try and make time because I know that it, it's important not only for you, but for me as well, because I love being a creator still. I love being a part of something still. And if I can do that on my off days or on the days where I'm not working or not busy with other things, then I'm, I'm doing well, I'm doing great. And I hope that, you know, I hope that continues for a long time. I do. But beyond that, I just want to let you guys know for certain that I'm not abandoning Sunset Skies. I'm actually making strides towards creating and, you know, finishing the game and just making it the best game I can and then working on follow-up steps after that. Now, like I said... This is barring any delays, so while I do not foresee any any delays in Stage 1, Stage 2 might take a bit longer because I may have to actually hire help for things like the music and the sound design and the other things. So it might take a lot longer than I expect because I might need to build up funds first and then find people to commission to make the soundtrack. But... Beyond all that, I just want to let you guys know very emphatically that I am always here to create content for you, to help you, and to just be there for you, and to make good stuff, because at the end of the day, what am I except for a creator at heart? I make things that you guys love and that you guys will enjoy, because it's what I enjoy. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. I will be putting up a couple of gameplay episodes of Imposter Factory, hopefully in the next few days, as I'm able to edit them and then publish them. So look for that as well. As always, have a wonderful day. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.